So when Kia's first looked at the schemes, they were after a product which would allow them to have a modular build, allowing them to create refuge areas of various sizes which would allow them to go wider or taller, given the circumstances of the areas that they were working in. Ready Rock provided a solution to this as our blocks can be added or taken away from in order to create taller or wider structures. During initial conversations with Jacob Atkins about the M20 and M23 schemes, they were looking for a product that would allow them to change the nature of the retaining structure given the geographical areas as we travelled further and further along the areas that we were working in, the geography would change and they required different types of structure which the modular blocks allowed them to do. In addition to the design life and other factors of the block that allowed them to create these incredibly stable structures from these blocks that went up in a very fast amount of time, the advantages of which were things like critical path savings, um, health and safety advantages on site, and the overall design life being 120 years of the product, that gives it long-term viability and short-term benefits of quick construction speeds and a safe method of construction. The nature of the walls they were trying to construct were very varied. Some walls were shorter, 10 to 20 meter region, and some of the walls were quite considerable in the 100, 150 meter plus. We could use the same product and repeat designs, however, change them to achieve different overall lengths and different heights of construction. One of the nice things is we've got uh, standard details for internal and external corners and it got around various little problems that we had in design where it may have to step behind a gantry or step behind a cabinet and the reason Ready Rock was so sort of useful in these specific circumstances was that we could provide a finished face, give the aesthetics of what the Ready Rock block should look like even in these intricate and tricky little details. Incorporated in part of the cost savings was actually an element of the design which allowed the land purchase and the overall footprint of the construction to be a lot more compact. It had a number of knock-on benefits which meant they didn't have to over dig, there was less material coming off of site and all these sort of rolled together gave quite a number of advantages which ended up at a significant cost saving at the end of the job. The approximation of numbers that we came to was around about sort of 16 million pounds worth of savings, around about 5% of the overall scheme value. All of those savings were able to be handed back to National Highways. One of the ways that Kia's uh, came to these cost savings was that we'd shortened that critical path program, and that obviously had knock-on effects with cost savings, time savings, and additional health and safety benefits where people weren't sort of working next to adjacent uh, live lanes. It was a big push from their side. One of the things we were especially delighted about, uh, Kia's put this forward for the SECBE awards. It was an innovation award for the product in that it had delivered these savings. So a very neat aspect of using a precast block as a gravity retaining structure instead of another form of gravity structure is that you're not handling secondary materials apart from the backfill material aren't necessary. It reduces wastage, you don't have formwork or false work to, to form these kind of structures and that in and of itself means that modern methods of construction terms you, you have very little off-site material going to waste. One of the innovations that we came up with over a number of years we made and designed a block that allowed hand railings to be brought right to the very front edge of a block. What that does for a build, especially such as what you were trying to do with motorway programs, is it allows you to actually bolt straight down to the top of the blocks and just backfill the units in and of themselves. And it doesn't require a regular type of hand railing would have required localised concrete works and constructing handrails in a very old-fashioned kind of traditional manner. What this allowed them to do was to do everything what we call dry laid. The blocks went down with no jointing and then the handrail could be bolted straight to the top of the blocks and that meant that they could come along, put the handrails on and walk away. No requirement additionally for extra skilled labour. So Marshall Civils and Drainage, due to uh, an iterative process of sort of looking at the materials that we put into making our precast blocks, have managed to use 25% PFA within our blended concrete. So what it allows us to do is give us an accurate figure of our CO2 footprint from sort of cradle to grave of production of our precast blocks. We have a BBA certificate for it. We have UKCA certification as well. The product in and itself has a number of local regional uh, approvals, not just national approval, and it means that we can approach any highway scheme and we're able to offer a solution to what people are looking for.